Hi Gemini, Ray Del Sol here. I'm going to be doing your April 14th through the 21st. If you hear any banging, my dog just ate, so she likes to carry around her food dish just in case she missed anything. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It is a general reading. I'm going to have a pick a card at the end, one, two, and three. So yes or no question usually comes with a story, so you'll know if it's for you or not. Um, and that'll be at the end. Now, as you may or may not know, my videos are for personal soul growth purposes. That's what my readings are intended for. Occasionally we get a love story that comes through. So they're not very crossworthy friendly. I do have, um, I do do cross watcher videos. So that, uh, if you're interested in someone, you know what's going on with them. However, it is not a, are they going to leave this person to come to me kind of a video. Sorry. Okay. There we go. Let's see what we got going on for you guys this week. Up in your heads. Ooh, a tower moment. About collaboration with someone. This could have been at home. This could have been at work. Put on notice for something. Given notice for something. Right now you're looking to the future. about where to emotionally invest. Right now you're you're looking to the future to emotionally invest. This tower moment was pretty rough on you, whatever this was. That was definitely a rough moment for you. But you've gathered yourself back together. Three of Pentacles, ooh, Three of Swords. We have three threes here, King of Pentacles. So this definitely involves other people now whether it's one other person or work or multiple people three threes I know what they say three-party situation not always okay not always three threes are also indicative of being on the right path now whatever this tower moment brought it brought you to your right path it showed you where you were lacking, showed you where you were stuck, showed you where you were barely getting enough, okay? And now you are looking towards the future with your emotions in check, and you are ready and raring to go. Planning out what your next step is. Let's see what the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Swords are, though. In the future not willing to put yourself in that situation again determined to have your own stability so that you don't have to worry about another situation like this again three of Pentacles two of Wands Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Whatever this was, it made you feel as though you lost your abundance. Made you feel like you lost money. You weren't sure what you were going to do in the future. But it's putting you on your right path. It's a Three of Swords. Three of Swords, please. King of Swords. Four of Wands. Nine of Cups. Yeah. You're determined to move forward into a steady future for your own happiness after this heartbreak, after this emotional situation. That's good. That's good. King of Pentacles. No, you know what? I want to do Knight of Wands. 
Let's look at the Knight of Wands real quick. Determining, trying to determine where your happiness lies. Seven of Rods, Conflict, Page of Cups, New Idea, Star Card, about where your destiny is. Conflict about where to emotionally invest now. King of Pentacles, the Moon, Six of Swords, Page of Rods, finding your path. You're ready to find your path now. If you see on the page of rods, you can't see from there. The page of rods, he has an amulet of the sun. So you have the sun and the moon right here. Your stability, you're looking for what path your stability is on. That looks to be what this is about. You had something happen that shook your foundation, put you on pause, put you in your head. <coughs> Sorry for my dog barking. <coughs> Chuchi, no. You may have to bribe her with treats to keep her quiet. If you guys didn't catch it, I put out a meditation video today. We had a special guest on it. Seven of Spring, this is your advice from spirit. Be assertive. Don't back down from what you believe. Courageously stand up for yourself. Be bold. Be assertive. Yes. Ten of Autumns, take steps to ensure the financial security of yourself and your loved ones, making wise investments or planning for retirement, honoring family traditions. Definitely being bold and plan your future. Absolutely. Spirit says be bold. Be courageous. Let's see if we can get one more. You know what? I want to see what's going to hold you. What's holding you back. What's holding you back. Yep. Spirit, what's holding Gemini back from moving forward, from finding their path? What's holding Gemini back? Communal living, a living situation, fear, fear about changing your living situation. That's what I got. It's fear about changing your living situation, fear about moving, literally, or how things are done in the house. Mm, I got fear about your living situation here. If this doesn't resonate with you, take what does. Wow, the energy is really high. Um, whew. Okay. Yeah, no, this is right. Yep. Okay. What's going to aid Gemini? Give me one more card. Besides this bold, decisive action. Bold, decisive. Let me move some of these cards. I have too many cards. Bold, decisive action. Besides that, what will help Gemini? Don't forget we have the pick a card at the end. Hey, if you if you like the video, please hit like. Subscribe. Comment if you want. Would love to hear what this is about for you. Six of Earth, the gifts of money, time, or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off debts. Someone could be giving you a gift. And it looks like a new job on the horizon that would go along with your fear of moving. You Perhaps you're feel, feeling as if you have to pay off a debt. The Hermit. Spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, and self-discovery. It's time for you to discover yourself, Gemini. It's time for you to take an adventure and discover who you are. OK. 
okay? It's definitely what I got here. Whether or not it includes moving and a new job, I don't know, but it's definitely time for you to discover who you are. And I don't know what you feel bound to, what's holding you back, but it's time to make a decisive decision. Okay, let's do your picky card, shall we? We're gonna have three piles. It's a yes, no, but they will come with a scenario because that's how it's been going. All right. Oh, if you check out the meditation from earlier, you will see how meditation can actually save someone's life. Because currently, because of odd life circumstances, I am uh, sequestered with my ex-husband. And thank God we get along. But meditation makes us get along even better. Because it keeps us calm. Okay. Gemini. Three piles. One card each, please. Yes or no? Here we go. Oh, this no, nope. oh, this one. All right. Gemini. Be bold, be brave, Gemini. You guys have the ability to see things clearly from both sides. That's your superpower. That's your gift. And if you don't doubt yourself, you can tap into that gift much easier. What a clear reading this was. Okay. Pile number one. There's the three of pentacles again. Working together with the queen of autumn. Be practical with respect to how you proceed. The ability to make anything more beautiful, meeting someone who can help your dreams come true, which is the Three of Pentacles, teamwork. Absolutely. So this is a yes with teamwork, okay? Whatever your question was, yes, but you need to work as a team. You need to reach out and get information from others, collaborate with others. Pile number two, you have the High Priestess with the one that wanted to fall out, Princess of or that one fell out. I don't remember which one fell out. With the Princess of Spring, she has shown up in every reading for this. It's time to go after your dreams. Do something that expands your horizons. Let your creativity take flight. What are you really dreaming about? What do you really want? It's there for you to take. It's there for you to have. It's time now. We are in a time of great shift, of the great shift, and it's time for you to go after what you really want. Pile number three. Oh, that's a yes, by the way. Um, pile number three is the magician. Wow, you got two major arcanas on the board here. With the Prince of Autumn, cautious but wise action, meticulous attention to detail, kindness to get to others. You can have what you want. You can take what you want. You can do what you want. You can proceed how you want as long as you take others into consideration okay so you actually are the first ones to get a yes all the way across the board so yes you absolutely can do this is a yes as long as you take others into consideration okay all right that's all i have for you gemini you guys have a wonderful day i will see you soon peace to you bye